Welcome to this week's edition of Vietnam in Close-Up. Forest protection is a no longer a macro issue that only involves adult participants. Priority has shifted from adults fixing the damage they have caused to providing early education for kids as part of a more sustainable future. Together with various child-oriented projects conducted worldwide, nearly 20 overseas Vietnamese students in England and the U.S. have organized a rainforest education program in their homeland, Vietnam. La Lang has the story. Being ranked the 16th in the world chart of biological diversity, Vietnam possesses a particularly high level of 16% of the world species. The country's rainforests are home to many rare and precious animals and plants. Yet, do these forests continue to yield new species and combine with exotic wildlife? Along with increased population, climate change and humans' illegal practices, rainforests have shrunk in both acreage and quality. And species extinction is occurring at a faster rate than ever before in the Earth's history. As future leaders, how children and young adults can get their heads around this vast subject. A project called Zung Oi has recently been carried out by a group of overseas Vietnamese students proposes one sustainable solution. The two-month Zung Oi or O for its projects, which started on June the 15th until early this month, saw the participation of more than 500 students from secondary schools and universities. Sponsored by international non-profits or organizations like Fund for Peace Project Davis or Center for Development of Community Initiative and Environment. The project aimed at bringing Vietnamese students a more realistic view and enhancing their understanding of the forest's significance and its needs for protection. The idea for the project came from our trip to Costa Rica, where we visited various rainforests and broadened our knowledge of forest resources and the need for their protection. We thought of Vietnam where forests cover a large area, yet have not been properly protected. So we decided to organize a similar project here. The project was divided into three phases, application screening, classroom training and field trips. Classroom training, which lasted for one month, was conducted in four major secondary schools in Hanoi. Selected students studied individually for the whole week, then gathered at weekends to debate controversial forest-related issues in groups under the instruction of renowned guest speakers in the field. I'm very happy to see how children are so creative and eager to learn about forest protection. I highly appreciate what the organizers have done. They have acquired knowledge from overseas and then come back home to spread the word to others. The program is very useful and practical. 100 outstanding students from the second phase were chosen to be a part of two field trips to Kuk Phuong National Park. The project's practicality is also one of the major regions why sponsors believed in its success. I think it's fantastic. I think there's too many, too many situations where you learn about something, but you don't have uh, the opportunity to go and actually study it firsthand and to see the effects firsthand. So I think that's a wonderful idea. I think it's going to work out really well, and I'm excited to join the trip. <laughs> Field trips to Kuk Phu National Park were the most exciting part of the project for all students as they had chances to stay in forest, talk to rangers and visit wildlife animal and vegetable preservation centers. I had three months of summer vacation in Vietnam that I don't want to waste. Plus, I always felt that my knowledge of the environment and natural resources is limited. That's why I apply for this project, and this has been one of the most interesting experiences I've ever had. Not just passively receiving the knowledge. After the trips, students wrote reflections on their experiences, presented what they had learned, and competed in challenges. Changes in their awareness can be clearly seen day by day, and forest protection has now become something very real in their daily lives. I've learned so much from this project. From now on, if anyone I know hunts and eats wild animal, I won't just stay silent. I will stand up and tell them to stop. 
Prior to this project, I thought forest protection had nothing to do with a student like me living in Hanoi. However, now I have realized that young people should take a more active role in the process. As a senior economics major student, I'm planning on starting up a small business on ecotourism after graduation. Opening a sustainability-oriented tourism business, organizing rainforest education programs, or simply telling everyone around to plant more trees. What the children are doing or hope to do in the future all contribute a vital part in making our world a greener and better place to live. Lanai, Vietnam Television.